Hey guys, what's up? My name is Sonali. Today's video is advice for first year sorority recruiters. So I've been doing videos on the P&M side for about three years now, and I've gotten a lot of DMs to do videos on the sisters side, but I have been a little scared because there are some things that we're not allowed to say, so I don't really want to get me in a sticky situation. Um, but today's video is pretty general. I have been on the inside of recruitment for two years now, and I'm coming up on my third and final year, which is literally so sad. Like, I actually really like a recruitment because it's just so fun. You get to talk to so many people, get to meet new people, and I definitely thrive when I'm around so many people. We're less than a month away from recruitment, and I'm so pumped to just get to live back in the Katie house. I've been missing it so much and just being surrounded by all my sisters. But let's get started with today's video. Got my handy dandy iPad with me. I just wrote down some really random notes like I always do for my videos. I feel like sometimes they're a little bit random, but just bear with me because my mind just thinks like that. When I heard about this video idea, the first thing that popped into my mind was to bring breath spray. So like you can get the little mini Listerine ones or you can get just like the little thin paper ones, but I don't recommend any mints because that takes so long to like dissolve or like even chew, it just takes too long. And these breaks are really short. So just have breast spray on hand or you can store it away in a drawer and you can like share it with all your friends if you need to. But sometimes I'm kind of self-conscious of my breath, especially when you're in a really loud room, you have to kind of get close to the PM. So you don't want to like scare them away with your bad breath. So bring breast spray. Another thing to think about buying is Dr. Scholl's shoe pads or just any kind of gel pads that will make your shoes more comfortable. Not everyone is comfortable with wearing heels. Sometimes during recruitment on the sister side, you are or may be required to wear heels. So I would just recommend getting anything to make them a little bit more comfortable. I know even buying like a little bit of a platform on your heel makes them more comfortable to walk in. 100% you need to bring your own food like granola bars or just like quick fruits that you can eat super fast because like I said those breaks are really really short and you just need to like stuff your face and spray your breast spray. So just bring any food that you can eat really fast but also make sure that you're not eating like something that can get in your teeth and like you need to like take time to like toothpick your teeth out you know. So yeah I don't know I would just stick to granola bars or like a banana or something. Your sorority will probably cater your dinner and your lunches possibly. I would definitely make sure of that because all sororities are different but you will most likely need to bring your own snacks. Also be prepared with your energy supplement, whether it's tea, coffee, B12 vitamins, fruit, vegetables, literally anything. Trust me, you're gonna need them. Recruitment is a very long week with very long days. So when you first meet at p and try to feel out their personality and how they want the conversation to go. You can kind of tell when a p and is a little bit shy and you have to take more control of the conversation. Rather than having a PM that's super excited and eager and has a lot of questions, then they will most likely control the conversation. I would say aim for them to talk more than you talk, but also if they're asking you questions and want to hear your personal stories, then definitely give them what they want. In my other videos, I tell PMs to write down some questions before the whole recruitment week starts just to get them like thinking of what they want to ask the sororities. And you should do the same. So you should just like write out some questions in your phone really quick. Maybe questions just to get to know them a little bit and then just store them in the back of your mind so you can have them when things get a little bit silent and a little bit awkward. Then you'll just be more prepared. I would also reminisce on some of your favorite memories in your sorority or your big little experience, or just why you chose your sorority, because odds are you are going to get asked those questions, so might as well be prepared with your answers. I'm not saying be scripted, because you definitely should not do that. It definitely doesn't come off genuine, and that's what you're striving to be. So yeah, don't sound scripted, but definitely be prepared with those answers and those stories. When you're asking PMs questions, I would definitely ask them open-ended questions instead of closed-ended questions or yes or no questions. For example, you can ask them, what did you do this summer? Or what was your favorite memory in high school? So that makes her answer range like a lot broader and she can actually tell a story since you asked that question. So hopefully your membership chair will tell you guys what not to talk about. It's usually boys going out, maybe stray away from politics and sometimes religion. Other than that, you can pretty much talk about anything under the sun. 
you're definitely trying to relate to this PNM. So if this girl wants to talk about 90s throwbacks or reminiscing on her childhood, then go ahead and talk about that with her. It doesn't always have to be your sorority values or your big little experience. Like it doesn't always have to be about the sorority. It's about getting to know this girl for who she is and seeing if she is a good fit for your sorority. Also, whatever you do, try not to say other sororities' names. So for example, if you were in Theta and wanted to talk about Katie Shakedown, then you could just say Shakedown or a dance competition I participated in. So yeah, just try to say only your sorority's name. Also, sometimes PMs can ask very uncomfortable questions like tiers or rankings or something they heard about on Greek Rank. If you're a PM watching this, please do not even touch a Greek forum because they're just stupid. But anyways, they will kind of ask those uncomfortable questions. Don't shoot it down immediately because the PM is going to feel really confused, but just try to bring it back slowly to your sorority in a positive light. So like I said, recruitment week is a very, very long week. One day you might be PMSing, the other day you might not be. So whatever it is, any personal problems, just try not to let it affect how you treat the PMs because that's just super unfair to them. So if you aren't feeling your best one day, then maybe talk to someone, talk to your membership chair if it's really that serious. But hopefully you guys can push through it and end up talking to these girls. So before starting recruiting, you will find out that there are some rules and you must stick to them. You definitely don't want to be the one to get your sorority in trouble. You do get your littles this year and the girl you recruit might be your little in the future, but do not do anything stupid. Don't break a rule just because you want that girl in your sorority. Everything always works out in the end. I know it gets a little tiring talking to so many people in a whole day, but you have to keep that energy up and carry out that positive attitude throughout the whole day because the last PM that you talk to at the end of the day should feel like she was the first PM that you talked to. Try to think about recruitment as a party every single day. You're meeting so many people, you can be networking at this time too. And even if the people that you do recruit don't join your sorority, you can still be friends with them. And there's such things as pan bigs and pan littles. So if you really wanted this girl to be your little and she goes to another sorority, you can always make her your pan little. It's honestly really cool to have friends in different sororities because that makes going to their philanthropy events so much more fun when you actually know people and then they introduce you to their friends and it's just like an ongoing domino effect. And you get to meet so many people, you get to network and it's just really exciting. Also definitely try to remember these girls' names that you do recruit because you most likely will be seeing them in the pan world. I think that my favorite part about being on the inside of recruitment is just being with my sisters stuck in a house for pretty much a whole week and just getting delusional by the end of the day. Like we literally have like dance parties and everyone just gets so like funny and crazy. And throughout the whole week, I get to know my sisters a little bit better just because everyone is so much more vulnerable. And speaking of that, we have a candle passing at the end of recruitment. And basically what that is, is just like a vent sesh. Like you can literally say anything that you want. And I always like ball my eyes out. I like to cry sometimes. It's good for you, you know? But anyways, I just feel like such a strong bond with my chapter after it ends. Because after recruitment's done, everyone's just so happy and excited to get the new pledge class. So the morale is definitely at an all time high at that point. It's just my favorite part because the feeling's like definitely indescribable. If you think about it, last year at the time of recruitment, you were on the other side. You were like looking up to these sisters. You were thinking of them as your role models and wanting to be one of them. And now you are one of them. And honestly, you kind of have an advantage over older sisters because you probably can remember how it was like going through recruitment a little bit better than they can. Like I personally can't remember my recruitment experience, but good thing I vlogged it, link in description. But I feel like first year recruiters definitely have more of a sense of relating to the PM just because they just went through the same process that they're going through now. Overall, this is the time to bring in great girls to carry on your chapter's legacy. So take this time to remember why you joined, why you fell in love with it, and what made your love grow stronger for your sorority. You wanna recruit girls who can represent your chapter for its values and everything that it is for years to come. So I hope you guys enjoyed this video. If you guys have any more questions about the first year recruiting, comment them down below and I will try my best to answer them. Sometimes I do get asked questions that I'm not really allowed to answer. So just a disclaimer there, but I hope you guys are excited for your first year on the inside 
and good luck with recruiting. I will see y'all in my next video. Bye guys.